also to uh, continue this spiral down into madness, I figured I'd better give you some of the deeper TGD lore uh, and explain the uh, the some some of the deeper lore and origins. Uh, it all started with this guy right here. Now his name is Donnie, uh, and guys like Donnie, these were my action figures when I was a kid. These are the the characters that I would uh, name and give them each their own set of powers. Uh, Donnie had superhuman stats. He was uh, he had super strength. He could jump extremely far distances, uh, and his signature move was, I think it was called the atomic drop, is where he would. It, it was a drop kick that was going so fast that it was like a meteor impact with like the power of a nuclear bomb or something, and that, that's what this guy could do. I think where I got him from was my great-grandmother got him for me, and then from there I, I slowly added to my collection. This guy, his name is Lonnie. He didn't really have a whole lot of lore. I think his name was always Lonnie. But later on in the saga, he uh, he became an explorer and adventurer. Like he was he was the archaeologist. In one of the books, one of the first books that I wrote, they they actually found him in a trapped inside a a backpack in uh, in some ancient ruins. So that's what that's what Lonnie eventually came to do. Uh, this is Rudy. Rudy has... I guess he would be like, um... a... Zoan type, like from One Piece, that he has all the powers of a, of a reindeer. And also, I think the lore for his nose was that it was surgically implanted. Sort of like how Wolverine's uh, adamantium was uh, artificially implanted. I think his shiny red nose was um, was surgically <laughs> attached at some point. Uh, this guy here, his name is Snowy. He has all the powers of a snowman. Uh, he has he has ice powers, so. I remember him being relatively fun-loving and uh, adventurous. I think he may have lived in an apartment with some other, some of the other characters. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think this guy has ice powers. I'm not sure where he came from. I'm not sure there's much lore surrounding this guy. This guy here, his name is Orangey. I think he was a musician. Uh, this here is Tangerini. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think he was a professional chef. And then this is Mandarini. Uh, none of these guys are related, of course. I'm not sure. Mandarini had a partner... think this one's name is Pinky, and Pinky and Mandarini were like a duo. Um, now here, I think one of them is Reddy. Their name is Reddy, and the other one is Cherry, maybe? I think this is Reddy. I think this is Reddy. This guy might not have a name. This might be fake ready. Imposter ready. Same thing with this guy. He's uh, in a similar situation. I don't think he has any ice powers. I think he's just sort of there. I think he's I think he's an extra, like a side a side character. I think this guy's name was Tommy. 
I he might have had healing powers. I'm not enti- I don't entirely remember. I don't remember whether or not he has healing powers. I don't think he did though. So this guy is the second one that I ever got. I remember I got him for Christmas along with a fallen hero uh, that has gone missing. Uh, whose name was Bonnie. This guy's name is Johnny. I've, you're probably noticing a naming convention. Uh, but he... He ended up being a... He's like Tony Stark. This guy's the Tony Stark of the Smileyan universe. Uh, not only is he a, a tech genius, he's also a medical genius... <laughs> Uh, and he's, he's basically Elon Musk, like brain, neuro, Neuralink, that's what this guy was doing, he actually, he, he was doing stuff like that, he was implanting neural, uh, technology into the heroes so that they can communicate with each other. And any piece of technology, he made, he made, uh, Phones that were a lot like smartphones. Now, this is this is stuff that's dating back. This is stuff that I wrote in like 2005, 2008. So, this is like before the era of smartphones. He invented video calling. He invented uh, those. The phones that he had were capable of. They were kind of like scouters. They can give you the stats of of things, like a, like a um, a Pokédex, I guess. These guys, I'm not sure these guys even have names. I don't think they have names. I think these guys are extras as well. This is not Tommy. I think this guy was a villain. I don't remember his name either. I don't think this guy had a name. So, one year for Christmas, my mom actually made some smileys for us um each of us kids got some my favorite color was green so i got a green one and we got a matching set of pajamas i when i was 10 years old maybe nine years old eight nine years old uh, i actually had a matching set of pajamas along with this guy whose name is bobby Bobby also had super strength. He wasn't as strong as Donnie. He was he was kind of a jobber. You would send in Bobby to go lose. <laughs> uh, so that, you know, to, to make the bad guy look really strong. Uh, sh along with him came... I don't, I don't remember this guy's name. I don't remember his name. He, this guy's name is Shiny. I know that much. And they both have similar powers. They're, 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 it's like Meliodas's full counter. Any like energy-based attack, they can, they can deflect. You know what? I wa I, I need to correct myself. I probably wasn't eight or nine. I was probably like five. Thinking about the timeline, I was probably five years old when I had when I got these guys. There is a smaller version of Bobby. I don't remember if he ever got a name. He does exist. Uh, Shiny did end up getting a lot of screen time. I remember that. He was he was a main character as well. This is Frankie. Frankie um, was was more of a slice of life character. He didn't really have a, very many powers. He did have a purple jacket that has now since been lost. Uh, he also had a companion named Ghosty, who um, whose power was being a ghost, and Corny, who was in the shape of a candy corn. Corny was one of my favorites, and he is he is another fallen hero. He's he's been lost to time, uh, and I don't I don't know if he'll ever be found. Yeah, Frankie was slice of life. He'd go out for coffee with the characters and stuff. He was like a supporting, like, secondary character. Now, I showed you Donnie in the beginning. And this is Donnie Jr. Um, 
He's not Donnie's son. His name is Donnie Jr. His last name is Jr. Uh, and this is Donnie Baby Jr. And they're, they're not related either. They're not related at all. So, Donnie Jr. had a lot of the same powers as Donnie. It might have been because they're both green. It might be a green thing to, to have those... Uh, that, that set of powers. But this this guy's name is Rocky, and he was partners with Donnie Baby Jr. Uh, <laughs> now, this guy's name is Donnie, Donnie Baby. His last name is Baby, and he's Jr. So his father is Donnie Baby, and he's Donnie Baby Jr. And this is Rocky. And they were partners, and they were in a rock band. So they were they were known as the Rock Bros. Even though, you know, like how Mario and Luigi are the Mario Bros. Except I don't think they're actually related. I don't think they're actually related. But Rocky was really good at playing the guitar. Um, and these two guys, they had... They were experts in martial arts. They were very... They, they could use key... They could use chi, and they had a a combo attack called I think it was the turquoise beam. That they would both fire a spiral of chi that would merge together and turn the color turquoise. Um, they also had some other stock moves. I remember I think these guys might have been able to might have been able to perform hardcore attack. Hardcore attack was a wide area of effect uh blast that was very uh chaotic. This is Bluey. Uh now Bluey actually has uh genie powers. He has all the powers of a genie. Not like Genie from Aladdin. He doesn't have phenomenal cosmic power, but he is capable of some of some uh, magic. And he, uh, in the stories, he ended up being a caretaker for uh, the Rock Bros. He was often found with them in Valenti Town, and uh, they actually needed Bluey's help to unseal uh, a cursed path. The path that they were walking on was cursed, and they couldn't progress, so they needed a special gem. But a gem, the gem, <laughs> was also cursed, so they had to go around the the world finding these these seven MacGuffins. Or maybe there was only five. Five MacGuffins. They brought them to Bluey, Bluey broke the curse on the gem, then they used the gem to break the curse on the path. So Bluey was a very important character, a very pivotal character in the stories. This is Sunny. I think Sunny might have had similar powers to Cyclops. Then again, maybe not. Maybe he didn't have any powers, and he was just always vibing. Although, I may be confusing him with this guy. This guy is not Sunny. I'm not sure if this guy ever ended up getting a name. But you know he's different because he's wearing shorts. This is Pengui. Pengui was one of the more prolific slice of life characters. Uh, he could always be found whenever there was any slice of life thing happening. Uh, he was he was like the the supportive best friend. He was he was often found uh, in those situations. This guy, I, I don't remember if his name was Jesse or Jesty, but I think his power was was throwing really great parties. I think that was his power, was throwing really great parties. This is not Johnny. This guy might have been fake Johnny. I don't, I don't know if he ever got a name. He was definitely a, a malicious, a, a, a malevolent guy. Fake Johnny was definitely not a good guy. I think he caused a lot of problems. I don't exactly remember what he did, but he did cause a lot of problems. I remember that. 
Uh, this is Spacey. His power uh, is zero gravity. He's able to float freely. And whenever he does, the blue Danube plays. You know. He was often played for non sequitur jokes uh, that he would randomly float by uh, as the punchline, as a complete non sequitur. This guy, I think his name was Sawney. I, I don't think he started out as malevolent, but later on, as the lore progressed, he ended up becoming a darker version of the character we're going to show last. So I think this guy actually ended up being a more villainous character. He does have... He, he has... He's quite creepy looking, isn't, is, isn't he? Yeah. So two more. Um, some honorable mentions from off the top of my head. One of the more prolific characters in the stories was a red silky very similar in, in material to Sonny but she was all red and her name was Sally she's gone missing as well unfortunately and she was one of the more prolific uh, characters in in the stories now before our last one this is Choppy Choppy is the foremost martial artist He's one of the strongest characters in the canon. Uh, one of the strongest smileys, anyway, in the canon. Uh, he's basically a Dragon Ball Z character. He can fly. He's capable of doing... Uh, I, I think he, he's a 64th degree gold belt. The, the martial arts name was Raka Aruki. And there were, there were different levels of progression. I'm not sure if he was actually able to transform. Uh, but any time there was an epic battle going on in space, he, he was there uh, kicking butt and taking names. This guy's name is... Did I say his name is Choppy? His name is Choppy? Uh, often mispronounced as Shopee because of the way it's spelled. But yeah, Choppy is often um, a mentor character for one of the most fun and definitely, I would say, the most prolific character. Who is, of course, Clumsy. Clumsy's story was often told starting with his birth, of him falling out of the sky and then things just going wrong for him. Clumsy was born from the sky. He was born knowing full English. He knew the entire English language. And people like Choppy and Pengui, they would take him through life and show him the way of the world. Uh, they would teach him how to cook, how to socially interact. And Clumsy actually did end up in some of my videos... He was able to one-shot, he, he one-hit KO'd a member of the Shock Legion named Turtles uh, just with a headbutt. He also showed up in a special, a Christmas special called, he actually showed up in two Christmas specials. He showed up in the Day in Aquilo Christmas special where he tormented Game Master and told the story of Danza Claus, and he also showed up in uh, Bloody Comet Saves Christmas from Gantar, where he shows the Bloody Comet crew the only way to defeat Gantar, the inconceivable, uh, which is with a dance battle. Of course, and that's before Guardians of the Galaxy came out. Everyone copies me, okay? Sorry for yelling. 
Um, so that's a little bit of the deep lore. Uh, that's how most of my stories were told when I was a very young lad. Uh, a lot of the stories were based around myself being a, uh, well, I was just way too powerful myself. And all of my partners were powerful. But that's, that's really the origin of my, my storytelling career, is with these, these dolls. Like I said, these things were my action figures. These were, <laughs> I would have them beat each other up and wrestle and... There wasn't a whole lot. Usually the bad guys we would fight were colossal. They were they were the size of a skyscraper. And we would have to turn the house into a a a tank to 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 take on the various threats. But that's that's all of them that I have available. A lot of them have gone missing over the years, unfortunately. Like I mentioned, Bonnie, Corny, Ghosty, uh, Sally. And those were some of my favorite ones. Corny actually was... Corny was the original caretaker of the Rock Bros. Uh... The Rock Bros were very, very prominent in my in my stories as well. A character that I don't actually... That I just made up was... His name was Cousin Carbon. And he was an all-black smiley. He was the edgiest, edgiest smiley of them all. No one knew whose cousin he was. But that was just his name, Cousin Carbon. That's what everyone called him. Uh, and he, he came in in a few deus ex machinas to save the day. Uh, maybe I'll read one of those stories in its, in its original form for you one day. Uh, but that's, that's the origin there. That's some deep TGD lore for you. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>